before I start today's retro bat version 6.21 setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new video, plus it helps like my channel too. So today we're looking at retro bat and the latest version of this is version 6.2.1. Now this is for Windows PC and we're going to do this as quickly as possible just to get your taste of what retro bat's got to offer. So just bear in mind, I've done lots of different setup guides for RetroBat over the past year, year and a half. So first thing what we're going to do is go over to the RetroBat website. We're going to go to Downloads. Downloads now. And we're going to go to Downloads now. And we're going to just go to, just take me to the Downloads. From here, you can download RetroBat version 6.2.1 stable. Just download that and that weighs in it one gigabyte. Once you've done that, consider signing up for free with Screen Scraper. Just sign up with it and we're going to use the details, the password and the username once you're in RetroBat itself. And this is going to get you some artwork. Next up, what we're going to do is actually install RetroBat. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to get a setup.executable. Just double left click on this one. Windows protected your PC. Just go to more info and run it anyway. And first of all, we're going to need to choose a language. So I'm going to choose English for this. OK. And we're going to go to next. And I accept the agreement. Go to next. And next again. And we're going to install this to default C drive. It's going to create us a RetroBat folder. Just go to next. And again, we're going to keep both of these checked and go to next. And we also want to create a desktop shortcut so we can easily get into RetroBat. Next. And we're finally going to press install. Should you get any pop-ups talking about DirectX needs permissions, just press yes on this. And right now, just connect a controller. I'm using an Xbox a Bluetooth controller for this. Okay, completing the RetroBat setup wizard, just press finish on this. Now, what we're going to do is delete that setup file. So we're just going to right click and delete on that one. And here's our RetroBat shortcut. Before opening up RetroBat, we're going to go into the directory. Right click on the shortcut. And then just go to open file location and this is going to very quickly take you to the important folders so we're going to go to roms and in roms this is everything that retrobat covers now for this very quick setup guide i'm going to be testing nintendo nes so i'm going to just look for the nes folder which is just here and in that nes folder i'm going to just drag and drop four nintendo nes games then I'm going to come out and I'm going to do the same, only this time I've got Sega Mega Drive. So I'm going to go to the Mega Drive folder and just go in there. And again, I'm going to just drag and drop my Mega Drive games into that folder. So that's everything done. What we need to do next is open up RetroBat. Okay, welcome to RetroBat. So first things first, this is the front end itself. Let's go into Mega Drive. We got no artwork for this yet. And if we go into my NES folder, I can see my games, but we got nothing here to show for it. We got no artwork or even preview videos. What we need to do is just press start on your controller. And from here, just go down to scraper. Scrape from, we're going to choose screen scraper for this one. Scraper settings, I'm going to select box 3D at the top. And right at the bottom, we're going to enter those screen scraper username and password details. Once I put those details in, I'm going to go to back, systems included. We're going to choose Nintendo NES for this or Nintendo Entertainment System. And go down to Mega Drive and also check this. Go to back and scrape now. Top right hand side, you can now see that our artwork for our games are now scraping. And once that's done, what we're going to do is do what it says at the top center, update game list to apply changes. So we're going to press start which brings up main menu, game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go. We now have got artwork and some preview videos for those games. Now we're gonna just test one of these. If I go into Nintendo NES, I'm gonna choose Gradius. If I open this up, and here we go, complete with what's called decorations on the side.
And that's it, that's Retro Bat version 6.21 set up very quickly and straight to the point. So if you're interested in learning more about Retro Bat and more in-depth videos, check out my playlist and that will link you up with the most detailed tutorials around for Retro Bat. I'll leave the link in my description for the more detailed version of setting up Retro Bat. So if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.